Hi, my name is Dr. Jana Lechman, and I would like to introduce a few skills that could help you enhance your emotional regulation. We all experience intense emotional reactions in our everyday lives, and at times of crisis, even more so. Usually, we can say we're upset, stressed, or overwhelmed, but what are the emotions we're actually feeling? Our desire to simply get rid of the unpleasant feelings many times prevents us from taking a closer look into our emotions. We try to avoid instead of understanding, but understanding our emotions is actually the key to be able to regulate them. We need to identify all the accurate emotions we are feeling, because more often than not, emotions are complex and we don't feel purely one emotion. Naming our emotions is the first step in being able to cope with them. We need to understand what is it that we're trying to regulate in order to do so. Discerning and labeling our emotions can be challenging and Robert Plotchick's Wheel of Emotions can be a useful tool for that task. The Wheel of Emotions lists the basic emotions in the middle and the feelings associated with each emotion at different intensity levels. Even if it may seem silly, whenever you feel overwhelmed, you can take a look at the Wheel of Emotions and find the feelings that most accurately describe what you feel in that moment. You can find the link to the Wheel of Emotions in the comments below. Each emotion makes us want to act in a certain way. Fear motivates us to escape the situation. Sadness makes us want to isolate and withdraw. And anger can lead us to become defensive or lash out. Acting on our emotions is natural. That is one of their goals, to motivate us for action. But when the emotions are too intense for the situation, or when acting on our feelings is ineffective and may even make the situation worse, we want to try and do the opposite of what our feelings urges us to do. So if you identify that you feel afraid and your urge is to move away from what is making you scared, you want to instead try and embrace a confident posture and actually move towards what's causing your fear. Or if you're angry and really want to lash out at the person making you angry, try to relax your muscles, put in a half smile, and try to act with kindness towards that person. There are many other emotions you may feel, and it's easy to find resources online that could help you identify the opposite action for those. For any unpleasant emotion, practicing gratitude can be useful. You can even make notes with all the alphabet letters, pick one when you feel upset, and come up with several things you are grateful for starting with that letter. Doing the opposite of what our emotions urging us to do is very challenging. So keep practicing. It will become easier with time and will allow you to lead a more peaceful life. It is also very important to keep in mind that while what you feel is real, it doesn't always represent reality. For example, being afraid of the dentist does not mean she's dangerous. Once we recognize that, coping with our feelings becomes much easier. And remember, no matter how painful and distressing the emotions you are currently feeling, emotions are transient. Allow it some time. They will pass.